Hey YouTube, today we're going to do another trigger comparison between two popular platforms. And before I get started, I'm going to let you know that all four of these handguns have been safety checked. None of them are loaded. And as I pick them up, I will show you that they are clear. Now, what we're going to talk about today is not particularly differences in features. We're going to talk about the triggers and triggers alone. And what we're going to compare is the SIG P220 platform, which that can go into the 226 or 229 or any of the double action, single action, um, six hour pistols and the famous 1911 pistol. And we're going to compare the differences in the triggers and we're going to try and see which one actually has a better trigger for a shooting experience. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the Sig Sauer and I'm going to pick this one up and show you that it's not loaded and this is a Sig Sauer P220. This is a bare bones um, basic P220. This is an older one so it doesn't have all the features and everything that um, the newer ones have, all the rail and everything. But this is a double action, single action gun, meaning it will fire in single action and it will also fire in double action. So what this does is has when you carry this around it doesn't have any external safeties it has what they call a decocker on it where you can drop the hammer down with one in the chamber and your first shot that you're going to take will be a double action and then from then on it will be a single action um, pull now let's look at the trigger on this thing now there's two types of trigger pulls on this and it is double action or single action and we'll start off with the actual double action so this is how your first trigger pull will be you can have about this much take up on it and then you have a little bit heavier of a pull but it's pretty smooth going through and that's how your trigger is and then when you reset it I'm going to show you that it resets right here and you still have a little bit of take up in it and then you pull it. There's probably a, about a five pound trigger pull on a SIG 220 on it. That's how, that's how the trigger is on that. So when you pull this back on single action only, this is your take up. You have about that much take up on the trigger right there and you run into a definite wall and there's a little bit of creep and then it goes off reset on that is all the way up to there and then you still have a little bit of take up on it now we're going to compare that to since this is a bare bones bottom of the, you know bottom of the line basic 220 platform i'm going to compare that to a basic 1911 and this is a colt 1911 this is a series 70 so this one doesn't have all the internal firing block stuff on it and a uh, actual 1911 has a trigger that just goes straight back. I forgot to mention that, so let me show you. The six hour trigger has a pivot trigger in it. So if you look at this pin here, the trigger actually pivots on that. With the 1911, the trigger just moves straight back into the frame. So when you put your finger on it, it actually moves straight back and your finger still stays in the same place. So if you look at the trigger pull on this, the trigger pull has about that much take up, and this is an ordinary bone stock Colt 1911. This is similar to all GI style 1911s that you could expect to pick up if you were buying a basic 1911. So you have this much take up, and there is your trigger pull. And then the reset on that would be that much, and there's that much take up out the words. You hit a wall and you pull it. So, in my opinion, the 1911 has a better feeling trigger and that actually capitalizes into a more accurate shot when you're target shooting. We're not talking about combat or carrying or anything. We're talking about just how accurate you can make this handgun. There's that much effort that you put into it. You know, it's just a crisp straight across trigger pull and you go off your reset for your secondary shots and fire it. Very, very good trigger. Most people would agree that shot a bunch of um, different handguns and a 1911 probably is the gold standard of all triggers. And they can be improved upon and so can the Sig Sauer. They can actually have a better trigger. So we're gonna go into a little bit um, higher end ones here on the bottom. We're gonna pick this one up. Um, this is a newer Sig Sauer 220 Elite. And this is a carry one. This is an all stainless one. This one has a little bit of the um, 
you know, the newer features as a rail, you can put all your accessories on and the checkering on the front and everything like that. But we're not talking about um, features here. Now, with your double action pull on this one, because this one is a double action also, there's this much take up on it and it's smooth all the way through. Now this one is the Elite model and it has a little bit better trigger in it and the reset on it, this has what they call the upgraded short reset trigger or SRT. So the reset on this thing is right there and there's no slack on it whatsoever after that. You just pull the trigger and it goes off. It's a very crisp, crisp feel. Now if you were to chamber this and just target shoot like this and you're going to just shoot single action like you would the 1911, you have about that much take up on it. And as you can see, it pivots. It pivots right here on this little pin right here and you go against a wall and it goes off. And the reset on this is going to be very short because it's the short reset trigger. And then the trigger pull goes off. Very crisp, very good trigger on it, but very different than a 1911. Now, with the higher-end 1911, the example we have here is the top-notch um, Wilson Combat Professional. This is a this is a tactical elite professional, so it has all the bells and whistles on it, all the checkering and fluted barrel and all that kind of stuff, all your little carry cuts and everything like that. Now, with the 1911, of course, you don't have the um, actual double action pull. So when you pull this hammer back on this one and you get to fire this thing, there's this much take up in it. And as you can see, there's no pivot point. It just goes right back into the frame. And as you look, there's that much. And this is an exceptional trigger. This is probably going to be the best feeling trigger that one would ever feel on a handgun. And your reset is very checked out. It's right there. And then it goes off. And this was probably about a three pound pull on it where this one here is probably similar about a five pound pull about the same as this one it's just a lot different so basically you have a very souped up high-end 1911 versus a very high-end um, six hour stainless one elite with the short reset trigger in it very different feeling so it's all in what you get used to, folks, when you're shooting these things. And like with this one, you got more options. You can shoot your first shot double action, and then all the rest of them are going to be single action from there on. Or you can just start off with, with your target shooting, your first shot can be single action. If you chamber it like that, and it goes off, and then your reset is going to be right there very short reset on the short reset trigger system with six hour but in my opinion the 1911 still has the edge over any any other type of handgun that you can compare it to and i just wanted to use these four examples and show you the two bottom line base model sig 220 here and the 1911 here which happens to be a colt government model and the higher end ones which is a custom wilson combat versus a sig sour p220 elite now like i mentioned earlier these 220s you don't have to compare just 220s you can do 226s with your nine millimeter or you can get them in 40 smith and wesson or you can get into some of the double stack ones like the 229 or the 227 and 45 acp these the reason i use these is these are all the same caliber these are all 45 acps and these are all single stacks and and I figured when you got into the higher end ones, this 220 here is a very similar platform to a 1911. And a lot of people think of them as a lot of the same. But when it comes to trigger, you're not really going to get a better trigger than a 1911 when it comes to anything. But anyway, folks, I just want to get your opinion on what you thought was the better trigger. I don't know if everybody's ever tried both of these. And they're all have really good triggers all these are very good handguns but in my humble opinion the 1911 still wins out as having the best trigger of any handgun that you can put your hands on no matter what the platform is these things seem to be the gold standard the john moses browning design the the trigger goes right back into it and it's just a smooth operating machine if you have any questions on any of these firearms, I have separate videos on every single one of them, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have to the best of my knowledge. Thank you very much for watching my video today, and you folks have a great day.